Today is math lesson 72. Today you will learn how to uh, measure to the half, the nearest half inch. So we've learned how to measure to the full inch already. But if you look at your ruler really closely, you have, you remember the lines, but then you have one line that's a lot longer than the others, which will be in the middle. It's before you get to the next number. So say if I'm in between zero and one, I'll have my line for zero, or I'm gonna just have the first line. Some rulers don't have zero. And then I'll have a few lines, but then I'll have one that's kind of longer than the rest before I get to one. That line that's a little longer than the rest is called a half inch, okay? So whenever you write half inch, think about the fraction, one half. So right here, I will put one out of two because I'm not at one inch yet. I'm at, I didn't even make a, in, a full inch yet, so it's a half of an inch. So if I go between one and two, this is one and a half inches because it is one full inch, but then it stopped halfway. It didn't go all the way to two. That's how you measure to the nearest half inch. So whenever you measure your lines, you do have an extra worksheet 72 where you measure some lines. Some of them will stop in the middle and that middle is called the half inch. And this is how you write so if when you measure your line, it goes past two, but it stops in the middle of two and three, you say it's two full inches, but then it's a half of two after that. It's not all the way to three just yet. It's two and a half inches, okay? Same thing, if you measure a line and it goes past three, you would say it's three and then a half an inch. You kind of see how it goes. And then same thing with four. If it go past four, you say four, and a half. You only write the number that it went past. So I can't go past four and then say it was three and a half inches. No, it has to stop in between three and four. And you always go with the number that it just passed up. Okay. So that's how you measure to the nearest half inch. You can do that in your workbook today, practicing, and you'll see the lines will stop halfway. Just make sure that you uh, pay attention to the numbers so that you can write it correctly. So that's your math lesson 72.